right, checking out a train unit. Water treatment controls here. Air handler with the Odyssey type condenser units down there. Let's go up here to inspect it. Found my 24 volt transformer tripped in the condenser, which is on these commercial units, that's where they put the transformer in the condenser rather than the air handler generally. So, looks like we got two of those uh, German made direct drive blowers in here. That's the brand right there. What I've seen, usually these they just have high voltage all the time going to them, like your ECMs do. Ooh, this hanging in there ain't good. Um, and then a zero to 10 volts generally, or a two to 10, whichever it is, is what determines the speed. At least that's the way they do it on the president units. May or may not do doing that, so it looks like they have just a disconnect for that one there. I'm gonna check that in a second. So just have a little tour of the unit. Got your damper there. Being that this is a return air fan that brings the air and pressure that rises the return cabinet. And when you do that, usually you can use modulate dampers to proportional bring in outside air and exhaust the inside air. So uh, yeah, there's the exhaust damper right there on this. This is the first time I've seen this exact small version of these air handlers. They're that small, like 10 tenors or something. So, uh, so that's your exhaust on that as that proportionally opens. This is the air that goes in to the next compartment, which is your just open compartment here. Filter here, on those dampers over there. There's your coil. And then you got, there's your uh, inlet there for your supply fan. And then the supply fan's got another one of those motors going down there. Besides dropping my phone. Boy, that's tight for sure. But it is electronic motor. So, uh, and right here, so as I was saying, there's your uh, the air that pushes through, but then there's this other one right here. So if you proportionally um, dampen this one just a little bit and open that one, you'll push air out. And then the next chamber will become slightly negative and it'll draw air in here because you're exhausting out some of the out inside air. So then I'll draw air, fresh air in here, blending it with what you're allowing to push through that damper. So pretty good units when you got all the controls on them. Over here, of course we got the train controller. Yeah. So this is probably where the, uh, this temp, discharge air, return air, supply fan, uh, start stop. That's an input. That's probably a status. There's your start stop. Return fan, supply fan, start stop, digital output sensor. Looking down there, looks like it. Yep, binary output. Compressor wanted to. Okay, this goes down to my condenser. Okay, I was wanting to find where this cable tied in. I can see there's no transformer in here because it's powered off that unit. And here you go. Supply fan speed, return fan speed, analog outputs. Right there will be what's going over to those electronic drives. Just got to do a little tour on this unit. Kind of looking at that for the first time myself. But, you know, pretty familiar with all those control wires now that I know exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to get my meter out and just check a few things. See what's going on here. Ooh, I found an issue already. I haven't even tried to turn the system on, like manually or anything, but uh, here's my uh, 483 phase coming in. You know, my power is good. All three legs. Look at this, if I read between one and T1 and T2, I got like 504. It's a weird reading, being that <laughs> on line one and two. Do I have that? No, it's like 483. Very strange. <laughs> I mean, this is a closed circuit. I think it's tripped. Let's see. Make sure there's no decimal points there. Nope. Saying high voltage, 503. But then I go 1 and 3. 252 volts. 2 and 3. 252 volts. That's a weird... I don't think it goes funky, man. Let's see if that's got it. Be pulling off the cover. I've done something too, but... 
Oh, the blower just turned on instantly as soon as I did that. Now I got 480. 488. 487. Again, this is an electronic motor, so it's just rectified DC inside. 0.26 amps. That was strange. I wonder if they had like a weird power thing here. Issue or something. They don't know why, but they, were, they said somebody had a cover off of that unit down there, like they were looking at it. Down in the exhaust return fan, it's running. No transform in this compartment, there was one in there, so I don't know what they were giving 24 volts to, because that uh, train controller was lit up. Yeah, let's look here. Analog output speed. I know it's being used for. 10 or 2 to 10 volts. 3.3 volts. And then there's another one for return fan. That's also exactly 3.3 volts. It's just doing the exact same speed. I guess that sort of makes sense. And it doesn't seem to be... So there's a damper position. That's also going to be like a 2 to 10 or whatever. It's weird. 2 volts. We'll push this screw a little harder. 2 on both. It's just hard to hold it in there, so... It's a 2 to 10 volt, and the damper's at 0%, it looks like, so. I wonder if it's got... Check the AC. I'm not down there to see yet. Let's see if we, uh... Where did, where did the tattoo right here? Like, sure. This is actually bigger than a 10 times a TTA 180. So 120 would be your 10 ton. So you add another... 60 there, so this is a 15 ton sucker. Oh, the guy said there were 10s here. Or 15s. Uh, 83,000 BTU compressor, circuit B, e, and 83 on circuit A. Yeah. Got a little bit of cooling going through that one air handler. Disabled this one down at the condenser. First stage worked out okay on this, so I disabled it and went for second stage. Most of the fan is ramped up to kick-ass mode. Yeah, she's hauling ass now. I open this. Exhaust. Oh, yeah, it's got negative pressure now. Just uses a 2 to 10 volt signal to determine the speed from the controller. Oh, dang it. I was just going to go see what the uh, voltage was while I was in kick-ass speed, and it just slowed down. It should be faster than it was earlier, though. So, supply speed is 7.3 volts. It was probably maxed out a second ago. I remember earlier it was pulling like three tenths. Going back up. Oh, and put it back down. It's got a mind of its own. Go back to DC. Oh yeah, 9.97 pretty much might as well be 10 volts. It's maxed out. Phase motor was pretty close to 5 amps, 4.4. That was four, over 4 amps at 480 volts. So that direct drive, electronically driven fan motor is no joke. Okay, I just disconnected the output on this transformer, wire netted it up wires because it's going to be back feeding from the other circuit. Right. This is dead. And I'm sure all the power 
above and below tied together. Let's see. This is uh, red, blue, red, and blue coming from it. Yep, black. There's your black and red tied into there. Oh, right here is going to be the other one. I could have just disconnected it right here. So here's the transformer, guaranteed, going over to that compartment. I'll reconnect it. Reconnected. Still have nothing. I plug this in from that transformer up here. So on, right? Oh, and I got to disconnect back on. There we go. Lights are on. And green lights on there. I'm gonna unplug it right here. Why watch that? It should go out. It went out. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down to the condenser. Let's go over to the condenser unit here. Guarantee you, with that disconnected off there, off that train controller, because there's two plugs for 24 volts and the one they both go to the same terminals inside. Yeah. See, this is dead. No LED. Now I'm going to reset this. There goes my green LED. Guarantee you now, I'm going to go back up on the roof. And that train board's powered up off the transformer down here now. Those transformers are probably out of phase. <laughs> or one just a little different voltage from another. I've been pulling some crazy current, but they probably were out of phase. But you shouldn't put two transformers together anyway. Because any difference in voltage could make them uh, pull current between the two of them coming up the ladder I already hear the blower starting so now this unit's definitely running off the transformer down there this one's disconnected so I'm just gonna remove this transformer and guess what I guarantee you there might be a transformer up on this other one maybe there isn't I'm gonna open it up and look okay just opened up the other air hammer up here or rooftop unit and sure enough two transformer sources there the transformer the disconnect probably working let's see if this uh stops when i pull the this one off yep it quit that's killed that one guarantee you guys i'm gonna open up the other condenser which happens to still be working but i bet you open it up and that transformer is uh tripped in that one <laughs> reset it okay now i'm at the first one the one that was actually working when i got here yep trip transformer right there Light come on yet? Oh, it's not gonna come on because I disabled this unit. So I want to test the other one. But I guarantee you, this unit will work now. Yep, LEDs on on the internal transformer. So yeah, somebody <laughs> doesn't know these trains or something got by them or somebody put a transformer in up there. <laughs> Might be my coworker. He'll just uh. Face palm, I guess, if he watches the video. <laughs> but 24 volt source comes from here. It was going up to the train board from this thermostat wire here, that white cable. And then they put a transformer up there, going to the two wires to the same train or whatever type of controller it is up there. <laughs> so the two transformers were tied together, fighting each other. So I'm gonna just go up there and pull those transformers out. Should be good. Okay, there we go. Just flip the power on. There's those transformers, yeah, spare parts for me. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I noticed uh, by doing this is that uh, if I turn off the power up here, the um, doesn't stop the unit below. But you know that's how these are normally wired. The transformers are in the condensing unit, not up here. So. If somebody turns off the blower, potentially the condenser can run. Well, they seem to uh, both be staging on their own now. One compressor in this one, one in that way. They just have like a lead lag. To cool the rooms, there's, the rooms just have uh, variable frequency drives in them for some big, part a couple horsepower pumps. So, and a bunch of other stuff in that electrical room for this uh, water treatment plant. So that's a these cool. So they're both up and running now. Powered off the built-in transformers. I believe they're a good 75 VA or whatever. So 
Yeah, 75 V8. And that's what they had stuck in up there, so it wasn't like they needed to put a larger transformer. It was just an oversight. So I pulled them off. Two in the back of my truck. Some spare parts now. So good to go. I'm gonna bolt it up. I'm all finished. Everything's working good. Something I was just laughing about in this place. If any of the derelicts around here want to start snagging some valuables. Man, there's a lot of aluminum here. You got the aluminum skin to the perfect lines. You've got aluminum disconnects, although 480 volts, they might think twice. I believe that one that one might be galvanized. But the walkway over here looks to be aluminum. And all the mounting definitely is all that mounting. I mean they come in and start unbolting stuff, man. And I don't know, the way this is cut, this looks almost like aluminum and not galvanized here. <laughs> so I think all this railing. All that hardware is all aluminum. Aluminum ladder too, just so. <laughs> See, I better hope the derelicts don't steal all that. But anyway, we're all set. So, uh, just got home, it's like 3.15, and starting to get a time of year where the sun's up pretty well. I just thought I'd look at my uh, bolts and amps here. I'm surprised to see it says zero, because I don't have my controller, like, disconnecting the utility power it's actually still feeding the rectifiers down in the VFD and the solar panels are just feeding the DC bus directly but I must have enough voltage I'm guessing on the DC that's making it go way up because it says zero yeah I unplug this over here it's gonna shoot up eight amps I can tell how the sound is up BFD through the compressor, it's just on first stage. It's louder at 40 hertz than it is at 60. I'll plug that back in. Drops back to zero. Huh. So maybe with just uh, being on first stage, I'm guessing being on first stage um, and with the sun still up that high at this time of year, it's not real hot. It's a nice, actually, pretty mellow day. It's like 80, only 80 something, so I'm not losing power out of the solar based on temperature like I will when it gets to June but uh, the sun's still pretty decent angle and it's only on first stage I, I have the feeling if I go grab my meter right now the DC voltage is going to be way up there it's going to be above 330 because I don't think it's using the full 5500 watts on the panels with the sun and high sky there let's go check it out oops oops it's already on DC okay not go boom. 334, I thought it'd be higher, but it's still not even bringing the voltage down to the voltage the panels will produce at full current, which would be 330 volts, 11 of them in series. Whatever. But yeah. realm of zero amps huh cool now of course as soon as the sun starts you know losing its prime position it'll start drawing more and more off the utility power even though I think the solar could still kind of supply most of the current so that's why I want to make my homemade controller but even without the homemade controller you can see as long as it's on first stage only it seems to be pulling mostly off of the uh, the solar and of course, I always like doing this for shits and giggles, but you know, if I pull the utility power at this time of day when the solar is definitely capable of running it, that's what happens. So, but anyway, yeah, so now if I pull the DC just to prove that it's running off the solar alone, it trips, shuts it right off. And everything's going to restart off the of solar alone, including the outdoor fan motor. Yeah, so, yep. So plugging that in doesn't change anything right now. It's just totally happy running first stage off of solar alone. Pretty much. I bet you it's a trickle off of utility. But yeah. Huh. Kick ass. <laughs>